Hello student, I am your Stephen sir from Ikra English Medium High School. Today I am going to teach you standard 11 and book which I am going to use is a Hornbill textbook. Chapter 1, a photograph. It's a poem which is written by Shirley Tolson. So my dear student, before I start this poem, I just want to give you some brief information about this poem. The poem, a photograph, construct the eternal state of nature and the transitory state of human being. The poet describes a photograph that capture intensity moment of her mother childhood when she went for a sea holiday with her two girl cousin. The poet draws a contrast between nature changing at a snail pace and the fast changing human life. The poet recollects how her mother laughed at the photograph and felt disappointed at the loss of her childhood, Joyce. The sea holiday was her mother's laughter in the poet's past, now with great difficulty and at different periods of time. Both reconciled with their respective losses and the pain involved in recollecting the past for the poet the death of her mother brings great sadness and an acute sense of loss the painful silence of the situation leaves her with no words to express her grief thus the silence silence here the three stanza of the poem depict three different stages of life early adolescence means girlhood then adulthood and last is the death so now i am going to explain you the brief details line by line so let's get started my dear student The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousin went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands and she, the big girl, some twelve years or so. So my dear student, I am going to explain you this four line. In this line, the poet is looking on old photograph, on an old photograph album, which is made up of a cardboard. As you, as you can see, this is the cardboard, which I have underlined, my dear student. So, so the poet is looking at the album. That's why it is mentioned a cardboard. In the picture, there are three girls who are walking on the beach holding each other's hand. So here they have mentioned three girls. How many girls? Three girls. The girl in the middle is the tallest and oldest. The other two girls on each side are younger than her. The girl in the middle of the poet's mother is the poet's mother. She is around 12 years old when the picture was taken. Now from 5th to ninth line I am going to read my dear student. So please pay attention. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera, a sweet face. 
my mother that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less was their terribly transient feet so from the fifth line to the ninth line i am going to explain you my dear student in the above line the poet describe how the photograph was taken her mother's uncle took the photograph and told them to stop and pose all three of them left their wet hair open and smile at the camera the poet attention is to draw towards his mother's face which is described as a sweet face the photograph was taken long before the poem was born the poet called their feet terribly transient as they were so young by then and now they had grown older on the other hand the sea which touched their feet change less so here my dear student i want to just uh, underline something this thing transient feet so what do you understand by this is a feet means when you go to the beach when you walk on the sand your footprint stays there okay but what happened as soon as the water comes that your feet footprint is totally gone so this is the difference what they are trying to explain so next second and third stanza i am going to teach you in second part i hope you understood this stanza thank you so much